last time we uh released a plague wraith plague wraith yeah plague wraith and got got scolded a little bit just a little not a whole lot or anything but scolded just a little bit and uh no i did that i did that that wasn't the jumping glitch i did it um got scolded just a little bit then uh I uh, gotta figure out where this wraith has gone. Since she was PO'd at her ex lover boyfriend person. So yeah, we got we got scolded just a little bit, and the wraith has run off. So we gotta go find her. We're also gonna see if I can fast travel off this island. But also, I did take the time to look up. If you remember in an earlier video. A peasant was sent for 15 lashes by a knout. Well, I went and looked that up. It's basically a very, very horrible um, Russian whip design. Uh, or lash, or uh, whip, lash, or... Uh, oh, I forgot the other word for it. Very scary uh, version of it. And apparently they have a great knout, which can actually kill you in... I don't want to see no one. You've got to. Just leave me be. Huh. It can actually kill someone in 15 to 20 lashes, generally due to... He won't be as cocky once the Baron's man will whip your <laughs> arse. Hey, you're the one that bumped into me, dude. Why have you been following me? Who the hell are you? Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Didn't want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the aisle. Thoughts to know so. Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. Oh, that's good to know. Can this be the witchman, the freak of nature. <laughs> Pick more interesting things from my nose. Alright, don't like you. If I can find a way to knock you off without getting arrested, I'm gonna do it. But yeah, uh, apparently a great knout can kill a man in 15 to 20 lashes, generally due to breaking of the spine. Yeah. Sounds, uh... Sounds awesome, right? Yeah, okay. So now I see why that guy was freaking out about getting I want lashed to talk. from the You out. damn it, I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Such a badass, the door closes without me having to touch it. Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter in a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. Toward Millie, Finch, and Faulkner, 
They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me since I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it, for Annabelle and me to flee. But it all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. First, then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was a thought she was screaming in her head. But can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I didn't notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I... see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard that like a few seconds ago, but I keep hearing it randomly, feet running, and it's creeping me out. It's just, it just creeps me out. Random sound bites of feet running. It, yeah. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! Oh, she hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, go to the tower, talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. He has to love her. He heard that he, she was turned into a plague wraith. And he's still willing to go. So, yeah. Oh my god, god, you kidding me. I walk on this place because of you! My king is long enough for revenge. And now he comes to us on his own. 
Over with. I remember the screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. Don't think about that. Keep walking. You have no mouth! Oh. to have a Romeo and Juliet story. It's a cool way, I guess? Just not what I was expecting. That's for damn sure. Have to figure out what that is later. She's all laid to rest, we could figure out a few things. Kept him there until the end. What a shitty way to die. Agreed.
mind if I do. I really do like this, uh, Sarkoi? Sarkar? I pronounced that thing wrong. I really do like the sword the elves gave me. Not in the larder. That wasn't what I planned, but I did learn something new. So that's good. Or at least. Lighting in this game is pretty awesome. That's a valid point. You should probably go sell item specific things to item specific merchants. Hundred and fifty one feet steps. The hell am go, I walking? Go. I totally loot all of her stuff. I feel kind of like a D-bag. Kind of. Not completely. Geralt! Just when I was starting to miss you. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you two close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded, as fellow magic practitioners. Oh, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Great. Fike Isles free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pester involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still. He's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. Yeah. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? 
As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. starting to miss you. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I Warf gather you'd like a look. Water Very essence. much so. Let's see if she's got any on the cheap. Your spirits. Filth. That was dumb. Didn't even look to see how many I needed. Four. Four, four, or three. So we'll worry about that later. that see you Kira stop it stop a word with you 
Pelor's the Ask Pelor. a service of the Witcher, the Pelor must. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man, out, man. who fears no evil, the Pelor needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Why hold the ritual at all? At times men die choking with regret. At times death takes them before they've tasted any bitterness in life. These poor souls, unfulfilled, cannot leave this veil of tears. Their spirits wander midst the living, must be judged, sent on their way. This we do on Forefather's Eve. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear. How to reward one for their aid, this too the Pella knows. Seems like you could use a witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake refuse? we must journey, to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Wait, so... Oh, midnight... Is the closest... It's got... Take it easy. Jeez, I'm messing this up something awful. Hey folks, this is Hobble Dragon. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying what you're seeing and hearing, please hit the like and subscribe and come back for more. Take the blue link. This story ends. You wake up in your bed watching another game. Take the red link. You stay within Witcher, and we'll see how deep this rabbit hole goes.